Hello, my name is Rusty Thomas. I'm from the great state of Texas. I am here to stand with my brothers and sisters in Christ and to discuss an important doctrine. That doctrine is called interposition. The Bible and history is replete with examples of its definition and its application and how much it's needed here today. It can be summed up in the Word of God in Ezekiel chapter 22. The Lord was assessing the nation of Israel and this is what he found. The prophets, the priests, the princes, and the citizens had all become corrupt. They had become lawless, each man doing what is right in his own eyes. And it's in that state God gave a call. He was looking for a man who would stand in the gap and to make up the hedge. Throughout history, throughout redemptive history, through the prophets, through our Lord, and through the apostles, the call has been the same. When evil and tyranny arises, the need for interposition must take place. The prophet Jeremiah, speaking again, this time to Jerusalem, and he said, run throughout the streets of Jerusalem. Find me one man who understands justice and just justice. One who will seek the truth and I will pardon the city. Of course, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ committed the greatest act of interposition by hanging on the cross for the sins of humanity. He took on the threefold evil, our own sinful nature, Satan and his demons, and this illegitimate world system that is rebellion against God's loving and just rule. He took those enemies on, he took them out, and he rescued those who would repent of their sin and acknowledge his lordship in their life. I have a good friend named Michael Perutka. He gives a great analogy of interposition. Think about yourself as a parent. You buy a doll for your family. He's the family pet. And at first, he's friendly. He's benevolent. He's a blessing to your home and to your family. But one day, you hear the screams of your children. That dog that was once friendly has now become malevolent. Now, that same dog is attacking and biting and devouring your children. What do you do? As a faithful, loving parent, you run out of your house and you jump in between that dog that is devouring and you save the life of your children. This is interposition. And one of the great examples of it, you can find it in Numbers chapter 16. Aaron, the high priest, literally takes a censer and he stands between the wrath of God that is upon Israel. He literally stands between the living and the dead. And because he did that, he rescued Israel from God's judgment. And what we must understand, the reason why we are here today, we have gone to individuals 